you want to print your table with both a header and footer. In these areas, you want various elements to appear. The table's name, the date it was created, and page numbers. In this learning module, you will be shown how to insert a header and footer into your Excel document and how to insert various elements into them. To add a header and or footer to your Excel table, first go to the Insert tab. Then, in the text group, click the header and footer button. The document will display in the page layout view with the header section open for editing. In addition, the context dependent header and footer tools tab will appear along with the subordinated design tab. The header is divided into three sections. If you now click header in the header and footer group, you will see a range of predefined header elements. You can, if you like, insert any of these into your header just by clicking on it. You can also insert individual elements into your header as you see fit. Using buttons in the header and footer elements group, you can insert elements that Excel automatically keeps current. If you want to enter the current date on the left side of the header, for example, click here. And then click Current Date in the Header and Footer Elements group. If you want to keep the header aligned with the physical page's margins, activate the Align with Page Margins checkbox in the Options group. If you want the header to be scaled together with the document's printing scale, activate the Scale with Document option. When you are finished setting up your header, switch to the footer by clicking Go to Footer in the Navigation group. Just as with the header, when you click for Footer in the Header and Footer group, you'll be offered a number of elements that you can insert into any of your footer's three sections. You can also enter individual elements into your footer from the Header and Footer Elements group in accord with your own requirements. If you want to insert the page number into the left section of the footer, for example, click in that section. and type in the word page. Now, in the header and footer elements group, click page number. Now type of and, and, and click number of pages. To leave the header and footer areas, double click anywhere in the document outside of the header and footer areas. You will now see the automatic elements in the header and footer displaying the contents you expect.